Hey guys, it is a beautiful day here in Southeast Louisiana and I got a package. I have a, a package from St. Louis Art Supply and I thought we could do a bit of an unboxing and a mini haul today. But first, I wanna tell you about today's sponsor, 7-Inch Kara. So today's sponsor is 7-Inch Kara Volume 1 and Volume 2, available in the Netto Shop. If you haven't had a chance to read 7-Inch Kara yet, it would really mean a lot to me if you did. It is my watercolor comic, and it follows the adventures of tiny 7-inch tall Kara as she explores the larger world around her and discovers a huge family secret. This charming watercolor comic champions family dynamics and friendship, and I've talked about 7-Inch Kara a lot on this channel over the years. So if you're interested in learning more or in learning how to make your own comics, I hope you guys will check it out. So I have already blocked out my vitals. Now I just need to open it. And as always, the curse of recording in the front yard. It's quiet all afternoon and then as soon as I start recording, a bunch of people decide they need to drive by. So it looks like there is a packing slip on the front. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that and put that to the side because it probably has my mailing address on it. I like that they have custom tape. This is my first time ordering from them. I find their prices to be a little bit price prohibitive, but they had some things that I haven't necessarily seen elsewhere. So I figured I'd give it a shot. Now I do appreciate the little handwritten thanks back and note, like, and I mean that sincerely. Um, it's just nice that there's a personal touch, nice that my purchase meant something to somebody, you know? I mean, generally that's why you shop small business, but I do frequently shop small business and frequently they can't be bothered to leave a note. So, and that kind of ties in with Kara. So usually with Kara, I try to include, when people buy it from the shop, I try to include some fun bonuses, whether it's postcards or stickers or charms. I always try to make sure there's a little something extra in there as my way of saying thank you. All right, so we have, like, I don't have enough of this around the studio, cat paper. And then inside, let me change the camera view so you guys can get a better look. All right, so there are some things in here. I got myself a, another Tachikawa nib holder because I really like my first one and I figured it was time I get a second. I purchased one of those, you fill, you fill it with what you want to fill it with liner pens. I think this one advertises itself as being for pigment ink and I've got a bunch of the Sailor Storia inks packed away somewhere that this would be a really fun way for me to actually get some extra use out of them. I figured I would try the Schmincke Opaque White. I used to love the Copic Opaque White and then they changed the design of the bottle and I didn't love it as much. I also purchased the hot dog. Let's see if I can get my little hot dog out of the packaging. All right, so I am currently reviewing Derwin's uh, charcoal-based watercolors, and I wanted a basis of comparison, and Schmincke makes some liquid charcoal watercolors. So I got peach stone, I got cherry stone, and then they didn't have the grape in the nice little try it and see if you like it size. So I went and got the full size. So hopefully I like it. Hopefully I like it better than I like the Derwent stuff. They included a sticker. I have the blocks, Acrel, uh, eight and a half Godets. So this is like their mini palette. I think these are gonna be half pans. And uh, it's so it's like a travel palette. And usually blocks watercolors are much larger. So I thought this was like a good way to see if I like these. Since even though I'm in the middle of a student grade showdown, I'm still trying out a bunch of different professional grade watercolors for 7-inch Kara. Also ordered some toned watercolor paper. I think this is a cellulose paper though. Usually when it's cotton rag, they scream it from the rooftops and I'm not seeing it anywhere. 
And while Hanamule does make, uh, yeah, acid-free is usually your, your cellulose tip-off. No, I did order from St. Louis Art Supply before because I've gotten one of these rulers before. Also got some, this is supposed to be artist tape. I thought I'd give it a shot. Right now I'm really enjoying MT's white washi tape for like smaller pieces, but this is supposed to be for artist work. So I figured I'd give it a shot. I also ordered the Blocks Acrel. These are their dot cards. And I will take a look at that when I do the uh, Petite Palette review. And then, since I'm kind of doing stuff with the Schmincke watercolors, ordering them from uh, Etsy, because I didn't realize that St. Louis Art Supply had the dot cards. So I went ahead and I got the big 40 dot card. That way, if there's any of the super granulating colors that I haven't had a chance to look at, I can take a look at them. So not the hauliest haul. I didn't buy out the whole store. I'm actually kind of not comfortable with that unless you are, I don't know, lost everything in a flood, switching to a whole new art form, just graduating out of college, something like that. I can understand that. But like the, the big, big hauls where you don't even have a chance to try anything out yet, I'm kind of I'm kind of uncomfortable with those. So I probably won't do those except for when I go to Japan and then obviously all impulse control gets thrown to the wind. But even though this doesn't look like a lot of stuff, it's around $200 worth of art supplies. So it's pretty pricey. The dot cards, these two here, which you would think because they're samples would be cheaper. <laughs> I think they're like 20 bucks each, which is kind of high, but it's still a lot cheaper than buying a bunch of a watercolor and then realizing you hate that watercolor. So I took a quick look at my shipping manifest. Looks like everything I ordered was actually sent to me. Definitely have to do that. There's been times I've purchased from Blick and a couple things are missing or back ordered and I didn't realize it until I checked the shipping manifest. So it's just good practice. But what are you guys most excited to see? What, what that where you can't see down here, are you most excited for me to check out for you guys? I am pretty excited about the liquid charcoal because Spoiler, I really wanted to like the Derwent charcoal watercolors and they just don't do what I want them to do and they're not saturated enough. So I'm hoping these are going to be saturated because I've been really getting into granulation and I've been getting into really moody atmospheric colors and I think this could be a really interesting addition to what I'm working on. Am I going to integrate it into a 7 inch Kara? Probably not because it's probably going to be pretty prone to smearing. But it, it might be fun, it could be interesting. I am also looking forward to checking out the Blox Acrel, but this is probably going to wait until I've wrapped up the student grade showdown, or at least I've finished all the unboxing swatches and then I'll go back to reviewing professional grade watercolors. So I really enjoyed being able to show you guys what I got. I can't wait to explore it with you guys later on. That bus really needs to fix their brakes. That is horrible. Um, <laughs> Just, it makes my brain go like total ADHD Fritz mode where she's like, blank slate. What were we talking about again? Which is fun. It's fun working without a script. Check out this dude telling me to back off. Or he was. Now he's realized that I'm not intruding on him or impeding on his life in any way, shape, or form. So if you haven't checked out 7 Inch Kara, I really hope you will. You can read it for free or in the dead tree format, whichever floats your boat and strikes your fancy. I just want to remind you guys that pretty much everything I do here on the channel is in some way inspired by my work on 7 Inch Kara and my other comics, or it is in service of 7 Inch Kara or my other comics, or it fulfills one of my core mission statements, which is to make art education more accessible for a wider variety of people. And I think YouTube is a great platform for making it more accessible to more people since many people do have access to a smartphone smartphone or could at least access a computer at a library it's one of the more egalitarian ways to kind of democratize art so i hope you guys have a wonderful day i'm looking forward to getting to some of these with you guys in the near future and i hope you guys will check out seven inch Kara. art supplies are purchased with funds raised from my patreon if you enjoy my art supply reviews and tutorials you can help support them at patreon.com slash natto soup Thank you guys so much for all your help and support.